Andrew again, and today on Man Man Review, we will be looking at some of the best 9mm ammo you can buy on the market today. 9mm guns are pretty much the go-to option when it comes to self-defense. Of course, owning a good gun and knowing how to use it effectively is only half the puzzle. The other half comes down to the bullets themselves. Without good ammo, your gun turns into a club, but not a good one at that. If I were given the option to pick between a gun without ammo and a brick, I would choose the brick. Unless, of course, a gun is a rifle with a bayonet. A 9mm pistol with bullets in it is often enough to deter an attacker. No one wants to have lead for dinner, after all. However, if they really are determined, you need to pull the trigger. Unfortunately, it is impossible to know how an attacker would react when they are shot. But we do know what kind of loads can stop them. And that's what we will look at today. Of course, the ammo boxes do say what velocity and energy you should expect from the load. But these say very little about how a bullet will behave on impact and how deep it will penetrate. The only way to know is by shooting them. Luckily, many gun enthusiasts already did extensive testing on various factory loads on the market. The standard test would be to shoot into a block of gel. You can see how deep the bullet penetrates and what kind of injury it does along the way. Many people believe that kinetic energy, bullet weight, and velocity are important when you think of terminal performance. They are important but only in how they contribute to the depth of penetration and the size of the bullet hole. Here we look at the FBI. They did plenty of testing themselves, and they believe that penetration is everything. Here they say that anywhere between 12 to 18 inches are optimal because that is around the depth where the bullet could start doing damage to vital organs. Too little penetration and the bullet would do very little damage. Too much penetration and you risk tearing a hole through your target and three other people standing behind. Another factor the FBI believes that is important is deformation or bullet upset. Bullets usually deform upon impact. However, how they deform is important. They usually bloom into a mushroom-like shape, and the larger the diameter, the more damage the bullet does to the tissue. But deformation and penetration are exclusive. Too much expansion leads to poor penetration, and not enough expansion leads to over-penetration. Therefore, ideal bullets should strike that perfect balance between penetration and deformation. Bullets and defensive handguns do not have enough velocity to do more tissue damage outside the immediate hole they make. So their stopping power is determined by the depth and the diameter of the deformed bullet. The cylinder of damage is called the crush cavity, and that is our best way to determine the effectiveness of different ammo. But that is enough theory crafting. You're here to know which factory loads are best for your 9mm self-defense pistols, and I'm here to deliver. I have here a list of six loads that you should consider checking out. The Hornady Critical Defense 115 grain. The Critical Defense also earned its place on an amazing self-defense round. Although it is a hollow point bullet, that does not mean its performance is inconsistent. Hornady overcomes this little hiccup by using the tip material found on the Lever Evolution ammo. The ammo comes in nickel-plated cases for improved visibility in low-light environments, and the low-flash propellants offer a solid performance even when fired from short-barreled handguns. Its reliable terminal performance is one major reason why it is adopted by various law enforcement agencies. The Winchester 124 grain PDX-1. The PDX-1 brings about the best penetration and crush cavity combination on the list at 16 inches and 4.23 cubic inches respectfully. This bullet follows after the discontinuation of the Winchester Black Talon. The main difference between the PDX-1 and the Black Talon is that the PDX-1 bullet's core is bonded to the bullet's jacket. It is marked as Winchester Defender for the 9mm and is available in 124 grain plus P, as well as a 147 grain with standard velocity. The Federal 124 grain HST. This load offers an above average in every test category, which puts it on the list here. The idea of the HST bullet came after solicitations from various law enforcement agencies asking for better duty rounds. The design behind this bullet follows FBI protocol testing results. They found that bullets that deform with a bigger frontal diameter without throwing away penetration generally perform better. So, Federal went ahead and created a bullet that can open up with peaks and valleys once it starts to deform. That way the surface area can increase without actually increasing the cross-sectional area. Simply put, the Federal 124 grade HST deforms better without sacrificing its penetration capabilities, which makes it one of the best 9mm ammo. Federal offers it in plus P, 124 grain, and 147 and 124 grain for standard velocity. The Spear, 124 grain gold dot. In terms of crush cavity, the gold dot scored highest at 5.52 cubic inches. Needless to say, if your target does not like getting shot, they certainly are not going to appreciate getting shot by this. The gold dot is also used widely by law enforcement because 
The bullet on this thing does not shed its jacket. Doing so allows the bullet to retain its shape and weight, which improves penetration. Because of the alloy core and jacket integrity, the gold dot bullet can handle intermediate barriers as well. The jacket is not your conventional bullet jacket. It's copper plated with a unicore electrochemical process. What Spear got is a bullet that sacrifices a bit of penetration, but offers a wide and massive crush cavity. Spear offers their 9mm loads and 115, 124, 135, and 147 grain for standard velocity, and plus P, 124 grain for standard and short barrel loads. The Buffalo Bore 115 grain TAC XP. The 115 grain TAC XP brings about some of the best combinations of crush cavity and penetration depth I have ever seen at 4.35 cubic inches and 15.75 inches respectfully. Out of all the other 115 grain 9mm loads on the market, this one surpasses the average in terms of both crush cavity and penetration. It also performs better than the overall average other than bullet weight. That might not sound impressive, but remember that striking that balance between crush cavity and penetration depth is a lot harder than it might sound since you need to sacrifice a bit of one to improve the other. Therefore, seeing Buffalo Boar coming forward with the load is quite impressive. Moreover, I should point out that this is a plus P plus load, meaning that it is loaded to a pressure above 38,500 PSI. The bullet used in this load is the 115 grain Barnes TAC XP bullet. It is an all copper bullet with a deep hollow point cavity. The bullet is designed so that it does not have a core that could separate, meaning that the bullet retains all its weight. It holds up very well, even against intermediate barriers. However, given its low pressure, you should only use it for handguns that are rated plus P or plus P plus ammo. The Remington 124 grain Golden Sabre. The Remington 124 grain Golden Sabre scored second highest in our list in terms of crush cavity. At a staggering 4.82 cubic inches, this load does a lot of tissue damage. It is sort of inspired by the discontinued Winchester Black Talon. The Golden Sabre uses a jacket that is designed to do more than just control the bullet deformity. It is made from cartridge brass instead of gilding metal or copper. One benefit of this is that the jacket is much stiffer and has a better yield and tensile strength. The bullet also features a pedal design, meaning that it could achieve a large frontal diameter without much sacrifice to penetration. Both the standard ammo and the latter bonded design are incredibly popular with law enforcement. There you have it, folks. These are my top six picks for 9mm loads. Of course, I should point out that no two bullets are the same. Terminal performance can vary slightly between shots and the guns you use to shoot those bullets. Also plays a role in their performance. Ideally, I recommend trying out all of them and seeing which one works best for you. At the end of the day, shot placement is everything. You can have the most powerful 9mm round on the planet and fail to drop your attacker if you whiff your shot. And the weakest 9mm can drop a determined attacker if you can put one between the eyes. What matters most is practice. Knowing how to shoot accurately is more important than the guns and the bullets that you use. What matters most is what you are comfortable with, so do not let others tell you otherwise. If it works for you, then that is a good enough reason. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also click that bell icon so you don't miss out when a new episode comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.